Let me now move to the Italian government side. I'm very proud, uh, uh, Man Manlio, that you are with us uh, today. And uh, um, uh, in your uh, capacity as Under Secretary of Foreign Affairs uh, uh, of the Italian government, I would like to involve you into the discussion and receive your endorsement, your ideas, your vision about the future. Uh, Manlio, I'm sorry I cannot host you in Kuala Lumpur as I would have wished. We keep it technological and digital, and therefore we listen to you with great interest and emphasis. Manlio, the floor is yours, please. Thank you so much. There will be a next time for this uh, physical meetings. No worries about that. Good morning to my Italian friends and good afternoon to the ASEAN ones. Let me first congratulate the government of Malaysia for hosting this digital roundtable on the way to all gather in person. Next year in Kuala Lumpur is, is going to be the time, as you were mentioning before. My warmest thanks to the Associazione Italia ASEAN and to the Ambrosetti uh, House for their tireless dedication to cultivate friendly relations with ASEAN and its member states. A special greeting to His Excellency Lim Jo Khoi, who is a very good friend of Italy and a strong supporter of a closer cooperation between Italy and ASEAN members. Today, the conference shows the importance that in Italy, we all, government, academics, institutions, and business, attach to the reinforcement or relation with ASEAN. The fifth economy in the world as a, and a strategic hub towards other major ASEAN economies. Precisely for this reason, my direct action as delegate for the internationalization of Italian companies has focused a lot on the region and has been characterized by various missions in the ASEAN countries since 2018. As a funding member of the European Union, Italy strongly believes in regional integration and welcomes the contribution of, uh, of ASEAN for a shared economy, prosperity, pay, peace and stability in Southeast Asia. ASEAN's role in defending effective multilateralism is essential. We recognize the centrality of the association in the Indo-Pacific region and welcome the adoption of the ASEAN Indo-Pacific Outlook in Bangkok last year. Upon these pillars, the long-lasting sincere friendship between Italy and ASEAN countries has developed up to the point that today we are candidate to become development partner of ASEAN. To do so, Italy presented to the Secretariat the plan of action that encompasses political and security cooperation, economic and trade cooperation, connectivity, environmental and agricultural cooperation. Later this year, we will host in Italy the first high-level training for officials from member states and the Secretariat on Environmental Protection, Preservation of Cultural Heritage, Police Cooperation and Diplomacy Skills. Italy stands ready to cooperate with ASEAN also on space technologies and geo-observation systems, which will be conducive to the transfer of know-how and local workforce capacity building. Applications of satellites and Earth observation technologies can also help to cope with environmental crisis and illegal activities. Italy has intensified its effort in the fight against cybercrime, a phenomenon that has become increasingly relevant during the current pandemic. Only by cooperating together can we reduce the vulnerability of our countries and Italy can provide ASEAN partners with solutions in this domain too. We are willing to explore more avenues of cooperation for industrial, commercial and business partnership. I strongly invite you all to intensify in contacts as they may be beneficial to both sides. The role of private companies also through the high level dialogue is crucial to complement the political ambition of a full partnership between Italy and ASEAN. Many Italian companies renowned for the high technological level and quality of their products are eager to invest in the ASEAN region, especially in highly specialized sectors, such as pharmaceutical, medical technology, information technology, renewable energy or maritime engineering. Let me also recall that in ASEAN countries, there is a young and well-educated population that is growing attracted by the Italian lifestyle and products, which are 
synonym of luxury and quality. Nonetheless, a great and explored potential still exists. In order to further boost our investments in the region, a package of measures worth over 400 million euros will be allocated in the aftermath of COVID-19 emergency to reinforce our business community in the field of innovation and research. With a stronger synergy between Italian embassies and consulates, the Italian Trade and Investment a Agency, and the network of Italian Ministry of Culture. In a true spirit of partnership, I look forward to seeing enhanced investment flows in both directions, so to favor mutual learning and experience higher benefits from the exchange of expertise and know-how, as well as innovative ideas can, that can pave the way to dynamic startups. Among the many areas of cooperation, we are ready to give our contribution to uphold connectivity between Europe and Asia. The master plan of ASEAN Connectivity 2025 creates significant opportunities for cooperation in the areas of financially and environmentally sustainable infrastructures, digital innovation, seamless logistics, and people mobility. Let me conclude by applauding on the positive role that ASEAN communities has played in containing the spread of COVID-19. I would like to comment on the solidarity and generosity that ASEAN community showed to Italians in fight against the pandemic. It is a proof of the real friendship that bonds our people and countries. Now, we must keep working together in order to spread up the recovery. We look forward to increasing the information sharing and the lesson learned building on the successful example of a coordination that the Italian experts of the Ministry of Health and the ASEAN Emergency Operation Center Network, led by Malaysia, held last April to share analysis and experiences on how to deal with the pandemic. The lesson we learned from the pandemic is that only through cooperation and partnership, we can all win. Thank you for your attention. I thank again the organization, the House Ambrosetti, and all the participants. I am sure that these events of today and the physical ones I hope we will be uh, make soon will really pave the avenue for a deep cooperation. And our partnership uh, with ASEAN will be every year stronger and stronger. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.